Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Whoa! Whoa! That one's blue! <gasps> that one is red, Tabs! Oh, and that one is green! Hmm, I wonder. Why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky Day! Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, no, 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 no. Never get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Great! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful! Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Here comes another one, Tabs! Tabs, are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right, let's go. <gasps> Here it comes. What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. The rain will be gone soon, tabs. Great since I just finished my fun painting. Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs, exactly right. It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors. <gasps> Whoa, a rainbow, so many colors. I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The Big Blue Sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer, I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Blippi. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when the sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Oh, look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole. Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. He found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? <gasps> Come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. This is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> okay, now watch. we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut. <laughs> we can't find any acorns. That's right, because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool! And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts in other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky! Bye-bye! <laughs> Keep digging! Whoa, Tabs! Look at this amazing rainforest! You're right! I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? 
I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, this place is so green. They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do actually. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super, let's go see what we can find. Yeah, thanks, bye. I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure. Whoa, this bamboo is as tall as a house. The juiciest shoots are at the top. Would you mind? Whoa, 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 lovely. Whoa, look, there's a monkey. He's a golden monkey. Hi, Fred. Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream, unless it was bamboo flavor. Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Whoa, look at that. It's amazing how big dinosaurs were. You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm, I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo. We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur. I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs. Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! Oh! We aren't sitting on a rock. We're on a very big dinosaur's back. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Angie. The Argentinosaurus. Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino. I have to break it up to say it right. Argentinosaurus. That's me. So, I'm on my way to meet a friend. Oh, oh do you want to come along? Thanks for inviting us. Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast. Actually, I walk slowly. That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo. Whoa, you're really long. I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall. That's as long as three school buses.
glasses and a little taller than a telephone pole. Yum. The hill we go! I be your bridge! Whoa. Whoa. It tickles! <laughs> yeah! This is where I meet my friend. Hey! Good shot, Devo! We're both in it! Oh, and look! So is my friend! Sorry I'm late! Hey! This is my good friend, Nina! Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi! Bye, Blippi! Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder. Why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. Woo! Ha ha! Come on, keep up! You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye bye Rita! Gigantic truck! 
You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? <laughs> Good idea. We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's go. Do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension with your special springs so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Blippi! Buckle up! <laughs> it's time to dominate the obstacle course. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wow! This is awesome! Whoa. How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Oh. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed. I nailed that. Megan, that was and I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> A bird flying at night. Huh, it's a bat. Hmm, I wonder, how do bats fly in the dark? Good idea, Debo. Let's take flight in the night. I'm going to need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Whose lights are those? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I put my bright headlights on to find you! Oh, hey, Blippi! I'm Matt the Bat! I was just heading out to fly my favorite flying course. You want to join me? Sure! I was wondering how bats fly in the dark! I can show you! But one thing, Blippi, no headlights. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, it's so dark. Twigs, crunch, look out. Whoa. Blippi, didn't you hear that tree? No, I didn't. Wait, did you say hear the tree? Yeah, I can hear everything in my way. Heads up. Rocks! Whoa! 
How do you do that? Bats have a special skill called echolocation. I make sounds and they bounce off objects and echo so I can tell where the objects are and how far away I am from them. Really, Debo? You have echolocation too because you're a robot dog? <laughs> well, let's use it. Whoa! Let's fly! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! <sighs> nice flying, guys. Thanks! And I have the answer to my question. How do bats fly in the dark? Echolocation! Bats make high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and echo, so they can safely hear where they're at in the dark. Upload answer, Debo. Oh, look, it's bedtime. Fun flying with you, Blippi and Debo. You sleep upside down? Whoa! Bats are amazing. Bye-bye, Matt the Bat. Look at those ducks floating in that pond! Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, uh, us ducks do paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. Here again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Mmm, yum! These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious! Oh, what a mess! Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling! Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Sh 
shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, Devo! I think I know that fly! It's Horace! Hi, Blippi! How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? Oh, it's easy! Watch this! Ta da! Wow! Yes, sir! The ceiling is my own personal dance floor! Skip it, bit it, bit it, bit it, Now you try! Here goes! Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick! You've got to stick! Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some. Don't mind if I do. Here goes. Whoa! Whoa! Now I stick to the ceiling, too. Look at all that mess! Oh! Oh! The glue has a stuck in place! That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist! The fly leg twist? That's right! Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk! Like this! Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist, do the fly leg twist, and get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi! Bye-bye! Whoa! Huh? This spider web looks amazing! <laughs> You're right, Debo! Spider webs do have such artistic designs! I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? <laughs> yes! Let's go find a spider to ask! I'm gonna need wings and spider legs! Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Bonjour, I'm Spencer! You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you about to make a web? I am! It's going to be my greatest masterpiece! The webbiest web of all time! <gasps> want to help? Yeah! I really want to learn how spiders make their webs. Time to create! Debo, I'll be right back. Blippi, you can be my holder and tester! My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle. What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach! To a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel! That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece! Can you hold this strand in place, Blippi? Yeah! Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Blippi, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you, my masterpiece. Now you can test it. Bounce against it. See if it holds. Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat. 
Your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. Bye-bye! <laughs> Au revoir! Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. <laughs> Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, 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 I rhymed again. <laughs> <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. <sighs> the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honey. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear! This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right. Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo, drink up. <laughs> wow, these 
colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, huh? can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? <laughs> are you okay, Debo? <laughs> You have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait. Are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Nemo! Oh, no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Phew, it's so hot out today but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Uh -huh. 
You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo! Oh, hi there! I'm Rooney! What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi, Rooney! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! We wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump! Pleasure to meet ya! Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher! Oh, Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast! Ah, you're pretty fast yourself! You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun! Alright, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there! We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Ooh, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock. But let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! 
It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big. Because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky! Keep on bouncing, Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! Huh? Achoo! <gasps> Thanks! Achoo! Huh, something is making me sneeze. Hmm, I wonder, why do people sneeze? <laughs> Yes! It's time to find the nearest nose and see what happens in there. I'm gonna need rocket boosters, a grabber arm, and spider legs. Rocket booster, grabber arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Woo Into a nose we go! It's like a cave in here! Hello! Hello! Hey! It's me, Flippy! Who are you? My name's Petunia! And I'm a piece of pollen! I may be small, but I can make big things happen! <laughs> like a sneeze? You got it! When I'm a People, I bother them, <laughs> and I especially like bothering noses. Come on, bounce with me. Oh, don't worry, it's a nose. It's not going to bite. Plus, it's fun. <laughs> so, this will make someone sneeze? This is just a start, since a sniff is coming. Watch out. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> It looks like we're in a jungle. This is all hair. It's here to keep pollen like me, and plus other things like dust particles, out of your nose. Oh, well, it won't work. Oh, it's fun to be irritating. Will this cause a sneeze? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, now a tissue's coming for us. Run! Oh, right. They're really bothering this nose now. <laughs> Tickle more! Is the sneeze coming? It is! <laughs> na 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 na! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh no! Boogers! We did it! Yes! And I have the answer to my question. Why do people sneeze? People sneeze when tiny things like pollen get inside their nose and irritate it. Upload answer, Debo. Okay, see ya, Blippi! Bye-bye, Petunia. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> And look at those super long whiskers! Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs! Let's follow that kitty cat and find out! I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Ready for adventure! Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa! What 
What was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. You land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippy. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamic. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! 
You can do it, Debo. Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do. My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track. Thanks, Debo. Now you're even faster. My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi. Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! Easy. Careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! <laughs> You're right, Diva! It sure is hard! Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon! That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T-minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk in command! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it! You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop.